Hi, it's Kurt Verone, and welcome to another edition of Philo of Log. Um, the last six weeks uh, have been kind of crazy. I guess that's an un the understatement uh, of the century. But um, it's caused me to have to uh, alter some um, some of the ways that I've been delivering classes. And uh, the good news is uh, we're up and running with uh, webinars, the same classes that I was teaching um, uh, live uh, are now being delivered uh, by webinar and pretty much everything on my calendar between now and probably August are going to be uh, webinars. The um, classes afterwards uh, we're still up in the air but um, the for the most part uh, we're prepared and I'm prepared to deliver all the classes uh, via webinar so we've been doing that. Um, I've done a couple of the webinars so far in my normal classes the um, discipline class and the policy drafting class and one of the complaints that I got was uh, from folks on the west coast because if we start the class at eight o'clock in the morning on the east coast it's five o'clock in the morning on the west coast so people complaining about having to get up early so I was going to do some classes uh, on the west coast time and I said you know what let's let's kind of think this through a little bit and you know the earliest we want to start a class is uh, eight o'clock in the morning probably don't want to go past five o'clock in the afternoon so how could we structure it so that we could deliver the material so that people on the west coast and the east coast ne neither one had to either get up early or stay late and uh, turns out um, came up with a thing I'm calling the the easy schedule or the easy delivery schedule and um, the class will start at 11 a.m. on the east coast and end at 5 p.m. on the east coast so that's about a six hour uh, class and then uh, on the West Coast, that translates to uh, 8 in the morning until uh, 2 in the afternoon. So, you know, hopefully that that easy schedule is going to be um, a, a better option now for the webinar classes. So starting, I believe, my first one is in June, we'll be doing that. Now, the, the discipline class is a 16-hour class. And at six hours a day, you know, there's no way that we can we can do that in just two days. It's just there's too much material. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do five and a half hours a day. We're going to start at 11 a.m. Uh, in the uh, on the East Coast and go to 4:30 uh, East Coast time, which translates to uh, 8 a.m. to 12:30, uh, uh, 1 1:30 on the on the West Coast. Uh, so we'll be doing that for the um, for the discipline class and also the policy drafting class. Now that's a three day schedule, uh, whereas those classes were two days. So, but it, it, it amounts to the same thing. Uh, for those who are thinking about or uh, interested in the FLSA class, um, that's a three day class. It's a twenty four hour class, three eight hour days. One of the options we have, and we haven't decided on this. Definitely, but one of the options that we're thinking about uh, is um, delivering it over the course of four days. So it would be six four-hour days instead of three eight-hour days. And the math works out perfectly. It's, it's 24 hours of coverage. Um, because the webinar doesn't allow for really the back and forth, it's really important in my classes. One of the things I've started doing for both, both classes uh, is uh, each night after class, we give about an hour, hour and a half after the class ends, um, we open it up for a Zoom meeting. Uh, I use Zoom webinar for the classes, but we do a Zoom meeting. And the meeting is uh, allows me to see you. The webinar, I can't really see the, the audience, but um, with the meeting, we can. And we can go through questions and answers, uh, deal with all of the different uh, questions that come up. Uh, that didn't get answered during the day. And certainly with the webinar, we have the chat window, we have a Q&A window. So those types of um, questions that are sort of in the moment um, still can get asked and still can get addressed during class. But for the more involved types of questions, we're able to uh, cover that with the Zoom meeting. So I've gotten good feedback on the classes so far. Um, so we're still, we're, still, uh, we're still in the batter's box hitting them as they're, as they're coming and being pitched. Um, the um, FLSA class, again, uh, we'll make a decision probably in June. We've got two of those scheduled. One is scheduled for September uh, in Seattle, and the other is in Kansas City uh, in November. Uh, we'll make a, a, a final decision probably by June uh, about whether or not those will go on uh, live uh, or if we're going to do those uh, on a webinar. So. 
Um, again, just want to update everybody on what's going on. Um, I've been working on my uh, latest uh, rewrite of um, legal considerations for fire and emergency services. So uh, in the process of doing that, it's really been a blessing in that I've had a lot of time to read additional cases, uh, really scrutinize some of the language and some of the things that we're covering, add some new um, things. We'll be talking a little bit about drones and some of the other um, uh, re really things that have changed since that book was first written in the early 2000s. Uh, so that's going to be updated, probably still about a year and a half away from actually being published. But uh, that's what I've been doing over the last six weeks. And, you know, you wonder why I haven't taken more advantage of doing vlogs. So I'm, I, I'm not sure. It just it hadn't dawned on me that I, I really needed to, um, to use this platform. But I plan to do it more, and uh, hopefully we'll get, we'll get more and more information pumped pumped out there. Um, I do have a couple of people that uh, I may be doing either vlogs or podcasts with over the next couple of weeks. Um, typically when someone contacts me or I see a story that's that's interesting and, you know, we think it may be something that would be worth doing a podcast about, I ask them to check with their attorney. And many times because of the circumstances, they the attorney advises them not to, not to want to uh, talk about it publicly just yet. So, that's one of the reasons why uh, start out. I don't think that a week has gone by that I haven't tried to do some sort of a podcast or a blog, but it just a lot of times it just doesn't work out for some of the obvious reasons. So, so that's going to wrap it up for uh, for this vlog. But uh, we look forward to uh, using this platform a lot more uh, in the in the weeks and months uh, to come.